Here are some things to keep in mind before you install and activate your VE LXI Cloud software. First, install the software on the computer you intend to run the cutter from. And remember the software could take an hour or two to install, so make sure you have plenty of time. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer, the latest version, to activate my LXI Cloud Apprentice version. S-A-I-C-L-O-U-D, SACloud.com. Press Enter, and it takes me to the welcome screen for SAI Cloud. And we'll type in the activation code. This is the code that appears on your label under the term activation code. It's a very long, very long code. If I've typed it incorrectly, we'll see if it activates. I have. It shows me that the software ID or the user ID is 75075, which corresponds to my label. Uh, it's for LXI Apprentice Cloud. And this next screen here is if you have ever gone to SAI Cloud and activated. So I have not. So I am going to make sure that I am a new to the SAI Cloud. This is the first time I've been there. So I'm going to enter my email address. And notice what it says, that it should be a permanent business email address because this is the address that all of your cloud activations for LXI, if you get additional computers, will be done. So I'll type it in. I'll create the account. So at this point, you get a check your email screen. An email message has been sent to your email address. This email message contains a link that you can click on and it completes the process. Or you can resend the email or try a different email address. So uh, I will open up my email client, which is Gmail, and uh, sure enough, in my opening email is my SAI Cloud welcome message. So I'll click and open up that email, and I can either click the link or I can highlight it by doing shift and drag, right click, and copy. Then I can open up a new tab, paste it, Control V, hit enter, and there it is. It shows uh, the created account. It's linked. It wants to know my password, which uh, I will uh, type in. After typing in the password and filling out the rest of the information on the screen, we're ready to create the account. Accept the terms and conditions. and it activates the software. And then the software license will be added to our SAI Cloud account, and so you want to do that, activate now. And then it shows that it has been activated and left under the activation code right over here. Here's the details of your license. To install LXI, uh, we run a small, there's three steps here. We download, we install, and then we add, ask for the activation code. So you download it now. A small file called SAI Software Download.exe. So I will save that. As it is finishing downloading, it will automatically execute and start the download process of the software. The software is over 400 megabytes and it can take an hour, two hours or more
depending on your computer speed and the internet connection. So this is the part where we said you had to plan in advance so that you could let your computer run. So we're not going to wait here the whole time as this download takes a couple of hours. We're going to speed it up. Now it's checking the download. It extracts the installer. and ask you if you would like to start the installation process now. So I will answer yes. Do you want to allow the computer? Yes, answer yes to that. Uh, English is my language. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Click Next, click Next, click Next. Click Next. It's now configuring. There is no dongle with this version. and it looks like it's finished. So now we need to enter an activation code. And the easiest way to do this is click and drag the screen and then highlight the code, right click, copy it, and then bring the screen back and paste the activation code in there and click Next. The licensing is successful so we can click Finished. Finished with the install shield. If it couldn't connect we could click on this box right here. A license manager can't connect and it tells you what you can do. Now on your desktop you should see two new icons, Production Manager and VELXI Apprentice. I'm going to double click VELXI Apprentice. It signs on and we can see uh, that the program is installed correctly and we're going to uh, go to Help and About and we can see our user number is right here. This concludes this tutorial. Our next step will be installing the cutter.